What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out the new and updated demo of Conscript. Uh, we checked this game out, God, the beginning of 2021, so pushing up on two years since the last time we saw a demo of this game. As far as I understand, the last demo that we covered was the same one that's been available for the last 12 months or so. But the developer, I got the heads up from the developer that they were pushing a new build today. Or at least people associated with the developer and that the demo had been completely redone. So for those of you that have not seen Conscript, since it's been so long since our last coverage, this is a game that seeks out to mix horror, survival, trench warfare, and Resident Evil together. Except that the enemies in this game are not necessarily monsters or anything else like that. Uh, this is very much a game where you are fighting your way through the trench trenches, stabbing people with bayonets and beating people to death with shovels, uh, where kind of the, the terror of the situation comes from the reality of the situation, the inevitability of all of it, and then there's a psychological aspect that plays in as well from what I remember of the previous demo, where a lot of the time you don't truly know if the main character himself is actually seeing and doing the things that he's doing in the trenches, or if some of it is like shell-shocked psychosis, effectively. And so anyways, I thought that this was incredibly fertile ground the last time we covered the demo. I thought that this was a really, really good idea for a genre cross. And so we're going to give the new demo a run and see if we can get people amped up and excited about it. If after watching this you wanted to check out the demo for yourself, I got a link for you down below in the description. Aside from that, you also will be able to find me at Discord and Twitch.tv at the links listed down below. Just in case you for some reason wanted to fill even more of your day with uh, me. Having been me my whole life, I feel like that's markedly a mistake. But that's going to be your call with what you want to do with your free time. Uh, let's go ahead and start off the demo. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we've got to check our difficulty. For right now, there's only four difficulties, and it looks like there's maybe going to be new like new game plus modes or something down here. That's pretty standard fare for the entire Resident Evil sort of Silent Hill genre. Let's go ahead and proceed. And then unlimited saves, checkpoints, full game only. Uh, let's go for... I don't really mind altogether that much. We'll leave it on the intended for right now because I think that's better for preview purposes. And then I suppose we'll enlist in the Great War. 1914 it is. July 12th, 1916. The Great War has raged for two years. Millions of husbands, fathers, and sons have been sent to the slaughter, and many more will follow. The German army has hammered Verdun with artillery since late February. Their plan is to bleed France white, but yet she holds. This will be one of the longest and bloodiest battles of the entire war. Some disputed barricade, I like that. <laughs> That's a very witty way to put it and set the stage for the game. July 11th, 1916. Your Ma. Hope you're doing well. It's been four weeks now since we were stationed at Verdun, and it is with great relief that I can finally write back home to you. I know you've been thinking about Pierre. He made a full recover after being gassed and was sent up to Fort Souville to continue fighting. I'm still stuck in this miserable support trench a few hundred meters downhill. We've been fighting the Germans over these old forts for weeks on end. Some have swapped hands multiple times over the past months. 
I don't see what the point is anymore. The fort and our trench have no more artillery. Our water is poisoned and our supplies are low. The telephone lines are severed beyond repair and communication from command has been dreadfully slow. Although tomorrow we will be sent south for our first break in weeks. It'll be a relief to feel clean water on my skin again. I will bring both of us home, Ma. Worry not. They're back. Alright, so here we are. This is our little character running around. Uh, we've got ourselves what I remember to be a save point over here. Moths are flying around the flames of the lantern. I need to find Pierre and get to the front lines. He's probably still up at Fort Seville. Okay, is there anything else that I can do here? Like, do I have any equipment or anything? I have nothing. So it looks like we need ink ribbons, actually, in fair, fair reference to Resident Evil. Bad guys aren't going to be in here, are they? Like, can can I have a gun? Or something pointy? I just, I feel a little bit nervous about where we're at right now. Boy, Lou, I need to transport these cages down trench. Commander's orders. I'll meet you later. Come back safe. Alright. Down to the left, we have an open door. And it looks like we have an exit right here. I'm going to go to the door on the left real fast because I feel like nothing good is going to await us outside. Uh, what do we have going on here? The passage is barricaded with boards. They cannot be removed by hand. Okay, so we're going to need a crowbar or something. Door won't budge. Rusted with a helmet hanging and it's locked tight. A key is required. All right. It does look like we have the ability to sprint just in case we want to move a little bit faster, which, like, who wouldn't want to move a little bit faster the hell away from here? Field operations manual. When under fire, remember the basics. Different weapon types have different firing styles. Check your weapons before going into battle. Engage in close quarters combat only if absolutely necessary. Okay, so this is just kind of like a contextualized tutorial. What did I just pick up? Is that like bullets? What was that? Oh, smokes. Apparently I have cigarettes. I don't know if I'm going to trade those or what I'm going to do with them. I didn't get a good look at the box. I was looking at this guy when the little icon popped up down there, so I apologize. If it looked crazy like cigarettes, I was looking at a different spot on my screen, and my screen's kind of big. Uh, what do we have here? More cigarettes. No, I don't think it actually really looked too much like cigarettes. Andre, the Fritz are back at Seville again. Your brother? He went up about 20 minutes ago. I'll see you at the front. Let's give these bastards hell. I don't want it. Going up and over the top, man. This black adder nonsense, I don't think this is going to work out for me. This guy's wearing red over here. Is, was he like a commissar? Is he going to shoot me in the back if I don't go over? The door won't budge. Certain doors have been locked due to enemy trench raids. A key is required. All right. Oh, good. The sounds of people screaming and dying. Private, where have you been? They're back at DeMont. We're not going to let them take it again. We're providing support at Fort Seville. Get moving. Now, which direction? Nobody's telling me where I should be going here. He was gassed last night. We should leave him be. Rough. It's just a coffin. Brutal. All right. I don't want to go that way. This way doesn't seem like... Does the sign say anything? Keep your head in the trench during all hours of daylight in case of enemy shelling. Take shelter in the trench dugouts. I don't know what that means in French. It doesn't sound friendly. Answer yourself asleep in private. Your brother, he's up on the line. You should be there with him. What's in here? Uh, a book. All right, so we got two of something. I don't know, ink. Okay, so we can save our game. Gotcha. That's going to be our storage chest. A dimly lit lamp sits beside a journal. Write a journal entry and record your progress. Might as well. All right. All right, let's go north. And see if North provides us with access. Let's see here. Supply barrels that can be smashed. Wood looks incredibly fragile. Door won't budge. Okay. 
take a trench shovel. Yeah, that's better than nothing. Let's sharpen the edges on this bad boy. Equip weapons and tools from your bag and be ready for combat. All right. Well, we now have a trench shovel. I really like that animation right there. That's a really good sprite animation. Like the way that he whips his head. Like he, he basically, he whips his head prematurely. And so there's like an element of brutality there mixed with sort of like being a novice at trying to hit somebody with something. Like he's not keeping his eye on the target, but he's swinging as hard as he can without looking at the target. Like that's actually a really, really solid animation right there. What's in here? More cigarettes? All right. Well, if we ever get around to bartering with cigarettes, maybe we can make that happen. Uh, where was that thing that I was supposed to bust? Was it over here? Hey, got the door open. I think you have to full charge a smash. Yeah, you can't do like a light hit in order to make that happen. So when you hold down the right click, he winds it up further and further and further. No loot over here. How about a gun? Do we have like a gun anywhere? Someone has left their gear here. Like, I, I really feel like there should be an extra label or something laying around this area. We are in an active war zone, after all. Like, there's got to be, like, a label or, like, a, you know, like a, like a gun. Break that. What is that right there? Take the bandage. Yeah, I, th I think a bandage might be helpful. Is this guy dead? He doesn't look good. I think he's dead. He, he... Oh, that's an unhappy sound. There we go. Bust that fool. Bop! Yep, run. Just stay away, stay away, stay away. He's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. I'm recharging my stamina. Oh, God! There we go. Wow! Got him. All right, all right, all right. A little bit more stamina. Charge up. Bop! And down he goes. Nobody has a gun around here. We're all just like beating each other to death with cudgels. God. All right. Well, there's my first victim. Doesn't look like he dropped any loot. Oh yeah, that looks. That's definitely okay. Sure. Let's let's go into the spooky sewer culvert. Pierre, he's badly wounded. I need to move him. Did you get his gun? He had a gun in that picture. A German trench raider. It looks like he was stabbed in the chest. More cigarettes. Just what I need. If I don't get to the front lines, I'll be shot. I'm going to come back for you, brother. Is this the way to the front lines? Like, I'm listening for trench whistles and stuff, but, like, I don't hear them. There's a door back behind that. I wonder how I move it. Doesn't look like I can break it. All right, well, we'll cut this way. What you got in here? More cigarettes, yeah? Good year for Philip Morris, apparently. Move that over to there. Nothing inside of there. What do we got on this side? Nothing? All right, up and in. Attention, check your firearms before combat. Only engage in close court. Okay, it's the same warning as before. Ooh, is that a label? Take the rifle rounds? Absolutely, the label is a fine piece of machinery. Take the rifle? Yeah, let's take it. Okay, so it's either that or the shovel. Gotcha. All right, well, we have a rifle, so that's definitely better than beating people to death with a digging implement. Door is locked from the other side. Where even is the front? Honestly, I have no clue where I'm going. There's just these serpentine-like tunnels down here. Apparently, everything is locked. There's no way to get into anywhere. It's all locked. Locked, locked, locked. Super locked. You're never get. Oh, Christ. Oh, I've got to rack the... Okay. I've got to rack the gun myself. Okay, so I need to, like... Oof, sneak under that. Get back this way. Line up a shot. There we go. He's down. Rack it. 
Yeah, film load a few more. Is he going to stay down, or do I need to finish him? Uh, he knocked over the cabinet with the door behind it, so let's go ahead and carry on through. Take rifle rounds. Yes, I would love to take rifle rounds. Yep, rack up a couple more. Just thumb load them on in there. Oh, those guys are enemies. I feel like that should have been obvious. Okay, he's down. Rack the gun, rack the gun. I don't know if I could snake that shot right there. I don't know if I should. Maybe I could take him with the shovel. Like, what's the rule for drawing a handgun? Like, 20 feet? <sighs> Here we go. All right, all right, all right! Oof. Nope, I'm not getting shot today. Oh, you can finish him off on the ground. Brutal. There we go. Uh, I think I can exploit this guy by just running back and forth and breaking his line of sight. It looks like you get iframes during the dodge, too, so... Oh, good, he's down. Is he gonna drop bullets? He did not drop bullets. Can I hotkey this stuff? I don't think that I can. Well, no, there's hotkeys over here, so, like, how do I... Oh, I can assign. There we go. Assign. Uh, two. There we go. And you assign one. Perfect. There we go. All right, I'm gonna try to conserve ammo. There you are, mate. When you get out of here, make every shot count. I'll see you on the other side. Dude, none of us is seeing each other on the other side, man. <laughs> a dimly lit lamp sits beside a journal. Let's go ahead and record our save here. All right. Take the chemical fluid. I, I don't know if that's going to be helpful. In the worst case scenario, I feel like it might make me flammable when I get shot. Yeah, I'll take a bandage. We haven't lost any health yet, so I'll take it. I'll take it. This is one of those times where I really wish that I knew French. Feels like it would be a, a helpful piece of information to know right now. Uh, the smell of gunpowder, shells, and burnt flesh is coming through the window. Gross. Private, Fort Dumont has fallen. If they get down here, we're finished. Go out there and defend this soil with your life. Bro, are you coming out here with me? Lead from the front, my man. You're already wearing your red pants. I'm already wearing my brown pants. Uh, what are you waiting for? Do you want one in the back of the head? Get moving. They shall not pass. Okay, Gandalf, calm down. Oh, he's on my team. All right. Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right. Yeah, I just, I just want bullets. Oh, okay. Yeah, he used to be a human being. Now he's like an open jar of SpaghettiOs. Brutal. Uh, does that blow up? I feel like it blows up. More ammo. Good, 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 good. All right, let's push in. Oh, machine gun, bro? Let's go. There we go. Who else wants some? Bring it. I got, I got 20 bullets left. I have six bullets left. That's not... Oh, shell! Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, okay. All right. I don't want to play war anymore. This is not going the way that I expected it to go. I am deeply disappointed about the way war is going. Ah! That's right. Walk right into it. Walk right into it. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Hit him again. Oh, he's still not dead. Why is this taking so long? Why won't you die? Ow. Okay. Yep. Used to have ribs. Don't have ribs anymore. Yep. Just, just, you know, reload the gun. Reload the gun. A few more rounds right there. That's good. Okay. Oh, God. Take a bandage. Yeah, I'll take the bandage. Oh, okay. Who's shooting? Oh, I like that smoke effect right there. That was really good. I 
keep forgetting to rack the rifle. There we go. We'll drop him real quick. All right. It's definitely a new demo because the last time we played, it felt a lot more horror-like. And you were running around with, like, a C-96 and, like, uh, just slinging a pistol all day long. This time around, this actually feels like a trench game. Like, it's giving me those big 1917 vibes. Uh, take a first aid kit? Sure, man. Why not? Is that one of our guys? Who was that? Nope, not one of our guys. Oh, dude. Okay, yep, that works. Yep. Oof. Okay. Oh, that guy's all blown in half and stuff, man. I don't, I don't think a bandage is going to fix what's wrong with him, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. It's going to take some serious Advil to buff that out. All right. Uh, um, yeah, I think I can break this. There we go. Take the shotgun shells. Yeah, I'll take shotgun shells. Does that guy have a rifle, or does he have a shovel? Keep fighting, soldiers. Make them regret ever stepping foot on this land. I'm regretting stepping foot on this land. This is not the Disney vacation that I was needing for my burnout at the fish oil factory or wherever it is we work. I don't know, dude. It's like the 1910s. Everybody works at a fish oil factory or like a auto loom. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that hit me? Wow, dude. He threaded that from super far. Ooh. All right. Got him. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm a little stressed right now. The game is doing a really good job with, like, scene setting. And with making this whole situation feel very, very stressful to me. All right, shoot you. Rack it. Shoot you again. I don't know if they're, like, infinitely spawning or if I'm walking into new areas, man. I don't even know where I am right now. I just know that I don't want to be here anymore. I don't know if the gun deals more damage if you wait till it tightens. It seems like it takes two shots no matter what. What's up with the MG up here? Aw, oh, dude, come on. Whew. Oh, I've been shot. Uh, I believe that they are overtaking. Oh my god, I missed. There we go. That'll do it. Just give him just give him a little just give him a little night just give him a little love tap. Oh god. Around the corner. Down the thing. This uh this deadly game of ring around the rosy we have going on right now is really not working for me. That being said, RKD looks fantastic right now. Return to Pierre? Is the fight over? Uh. Oh my god. Why is there an axe murderer in the trenches? Why is this man wearing a steampunk outfit? Oh, please die. Oh god. Oh, this is not working at all. Bro, I will battle you. I challenge you to a, a shovel fight. Ow! You're better at shovel fight than I am. I don't even know if this guy is killable. Bullets didn't seem to hurt him, so I thought maybe we'd like snake a hit into a sweet spot if we just kept hitting him. Oh God. Okay, let's try let's try the gun strategy again. Maybe 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 a gun. Well, that didn't work at all. 
My man's bulletproof. He doesn't care. I wonder if I can shoot that thing. What did he drop? Like some metal or something? What is that? Oh, gun parts. Maybe for gun upgrades? Uh, so that you can make your gunfire faster, like hit harder or something like that? Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I can't go back the way that I came. I accidentally lit the trench on fire. Is that one of those things that's going to reflect poorly on my service record? Do, do you get a medal or deduct a medal for that? I was never in the military, so, like, I need these kinds of obvious questions answered. I feel like it's a really good idea to maybe, yeah, patch my health up. Oh, look at that, dude! All it takes is one band-aid. And, like, three gunshot wounds and several cases of blunt force trauma have just been completely and totally smoothed over. More shotgun shells. Yeah, yeah. Take a pump shotgun. Yeah, I think that that feels an American volunteer. Lame, dude! Okay, um... Shotgun. I assign you to the key of three. Uh, the place we came from got blowed up. Can I go home? Is that is that the rules of the army? If if the door you just came through gets blowed up, you get to go home? I feel like that should be a rule. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was an explosive that went off behind me. Yep. Definitely didn't make me flinch. Uh yeah, that guy. I don't think he's going to make it. Um I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Oh, buddy. Oh, please stop doing that. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Really hope those aren't mustard gas canisters. There's a lot of yellow pea clouds coming out, though, so I'm guessing... Aside from the ones that I left behind me running all the way down here, uh, that it might be gas. Oh, dude. Um, we're in the dark now. Uh, was there a door down here? It's kind of hard to see. There is. Oh, this is that little bathroom area that I came from, or what? I don't know what it is. But, like, it's the area that I came from, all right? Listen, buddy. Just look at the flowers. All right. Pierre is gone, but someone left a note here. The, the company commander, they are planning a second attack and we are out of men fit to fight. The fort is now in their control and the southern trenches follow. If the support trench falls, withdraw your men and regroup at Fort St. Michael or St. Michelle. Uh, leave any wounded soldiers in the medic bay. If they are not killed, they will be taken as prisoners of war and we will retrieve them later. Oh, dude, did they leave me here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I jumped. Well, I don't know if that's the title screen or the end of the demo. So I don't know where to go from here with my commentary. I'm at a little bit of a vocal impasse. Is that the end? Oh, it's the title screen. They actually let you go into chapter two. Very nice. Well, here, I'll leave it right here then. So that you guys can go play the demo and do chapter two so that there's something that is left to the imagination. I don't want to spoil the whole demo for you. I want you to enjoy it. Uh, but I will say this. This is a much tighter demo than the first demo. The first demo was good, pushing towards great. This demo right here, much tighter. 
much more concise. There's been an evolution of the gameplay as well in the way that it works. There's been iteration on the stuff from the first demo, which was basically point and click. Now you've got different mechanics like having to rack the rifle. I don't remember if there was a dodge roll, but there's a dodge roll now and it gives you iframes. Uh, it focuses much more on trench warfare instead of like the psychological aspects. The last demo had a lot more horror things going on, in my opinion, where, like, your character was kind of, like, freaking out and, like, afraid to walk through doorways and stuff, like, not sure if he was seeing what he was actually seeing or not. This one right here, much more about the trench warfare. And so if they get those two ideas married uh, between your character being engaged in some of the hottest fighting in human history and then the psychological effects of trying to get out of that situation and also process it simultaneously while trying to stay alive, I think they're absolutely going to have a winner on their hands. This is a fantastic idea for a game and not something that I would have ever thought of, uh, shifting Resident Evil into a survival horror trench combat game in World War One as a, a galaxy brain thought. And so anyways, absolutely fantastic. You guys go out, enjoy Chapter 2. It's available for download right now. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games so that you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we had the brand new demo of Conscript, which they just pushed this morning. Well, yesterday morning by the time you see this video. Uh, but I am a gaw. I am aghast. I, I think this is great. This is fantastic. See y'all later. Thanks for hanging out.